since I have this index card, I am just going to fold this in half lengthwise like this. Now, of course, uh, the bone folder works wonders for us in flattening these out. But if you don't have a bone folder, you can always use scissor handles, a spoon, the back of a spoon, something like that. Uh, so I just folded this in half like that. And then I'm going to fold it in half the short way. So I'm going to fold it in half the short way. Then I'm going to open that up and I'm going to fold this into where the middle fold is. Really want to make sure you line it up because you really want it to be as straight as possible. Now, because this is an index card a day challenge and we're using index cards to make all our art, I like to show the index card. I'm just going to make sure I get this fold really good. It will work better if your folds are very creased. Now, the idea here is you would cut this right up until this last group. So I'm going to make a cut here with my scissors right along this line and end right here. So you don't cut all the way through. You want to leave, leave this section attached. This is my solution to the scissors. I have my X-Acto blade and a ruler and I'm going to push this right up against the ruler so there's no chance of me missing. I'm going to hold the ruler tight and I'm, I don't want to cut this section. Remember, I want to leave this section intact. So I'm just going to cut this one and I'm going to use the ruler as my guide, not pushing too, too hard and voila. And this is how you fold the concertina book and how you end up with a book. This makes the book. This is the first, the second, the third page. Now you could decide to glue this page together or leave it unglued. I'm going to leave mine unglued and that's the last one. And then the concertina books are made to flip over if you want to be able to look at the back side. So you could decorate both sides, but we're going to decorate at least this one side. So let me just show you what I did. I had these colored index cards and I just hole punched with my hole punches uh, circles out. And I'm going to use that for this. If you don't have colored index cards, you could just paint them yourself and then cut out circles. I am going to start this way, rubbing it on the glue stick. And then I'm going to stick it down to one of my rectangles here. There's one. Now I'm not trying to get them in the center necessarily. I'm just using these as a jumping off point. You just don't want to put them on your folds because they'll pop off, I think, if you do that. What I like about this is this is using all index cards, and I kind of think that's interesting. I'm going to do this one sort of off to the edge. Now this is going to go something like this. So this will be just the beginning of my book. A little more tricky is to get these little ones on. Okay, here's my book so far my little concertina book about circles. And there you have today's iCAD card.